In this video, we're going to go over the Vox Hide tool, which is a very powerful voxel modeling tool. To utilize it, I need to make sure that my layer is in voxel mode rather than surface mode. There is a surface hide tool, but this is much more than just a utility for hiding, as you'll see. I'm going to hover over the part that I want to work on, then hit the H key, and you'll see it highlighted when I do that. I'm going to click the S icon to switch out of surface mode. 3D Coat is going to recommend the polygon count here. I'm going to crank that up to 3 million because I can see down here it's already at uh, close to 3 million in surface mode. So. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the adjust section about midway and click on Vox Hide. If I want, I can actually use a brush to hide parts of the model. Let me undo. I'm going to right click and drag down and I'll see that red profile shrink. And that's because the depth value is shrinking. Okay, let me undo here. So there are a number of things I could use. Let's try this line segment tool. Click and click. And hit escape, drop that. And now if I want, I can go back with the control key held down. Click and click. And escape. Control key held down, click and click. Same thing. You can, of course, use different draw modes as well, such as the polygonal lasso, if you prefer, or the closed spline. You can also use the spline stroke draw mode as well. So, for example, you can hit escape. And then I can go through. And with just a regular brush, I can also turn steady stroke on. Increase my brush size. I want to make sure I have enough resolution, so I'm going to go with 1 million. And I can see a little red warning down here indicating that this volume has been stretched. And what that means is with the transform tool, it's been scaled along a single axis. So I just need to reset its transform by going to the layer, right clicking on it, and choosing two global space. Now I want to go to an orthographic view. I can also hit the E key to bring the E panel to me. And I'm going to choose the polygonal lasso. Okay, and I'll go back to that side view. And this time I'm going to check invert tool instead of holding down the control key. So what I can do is add that geometry back and modify it just a little bit. If I want, I can actually have that separated or discard the hidden part from the geometry menu. I can delete the hidden. Objectify hidden is the same thing as separating it. I can unhide all if I want to unhide what I've done here. Let's go back 
and let's add some more to this. I still have invert tool checked. Yeah, I'll just stick with the polygonal lasso here and I'm going to uncheck invert tool. I'm now going to click smooth all a few times. And then when I go back and let's say if I unhide all, by smoothing the unhidden portion, it still creates a visual line of separation, although everything is intact. Let me choose a different shader for that. That lets you see a little bit better. Let me undo that. So yeah, I can discard it so that's a permanent separation, but I could also, again, go to Geometry and then choose Objectify Hidden. And now I can go back here, change my shader, uh, select that by hitting the H key and maybe applying yet another shader. So that's a quick look at using the Vox Hide tool in 3D Coat's Voxel Sculpting Toolset. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.